Союз сейчас. Порожьюка Союза. Вы готовы? Порожьюка Союза. Экип Каминтон. Hello, Houston on the out to win the camera, we'd like you to go to linear again, please. Yep. That did it, that's a good picture. Okay, Houston, Big 7, the same problem with two eyes wash up in my head. Dodge, you understand? Oh, right. Apollo, you said we're getting a good picture, but the camera has moved a little. Can we ask you to move it uh, to the right and up a, a little bit? Thank you.
Apollo Houston, uh, it was a beautiful docking. We had a good picture. We can see Italy coming up in the Mediterranean right now. Apollo Houston, it looks like we lost communications with you for a while, but we're back again. Okay, we were getting into uh, gimbal lock there, Bo, for some reason, so we had to manually crank out of there. That's probably where it's a weird attitude right now. I understand.
Режим выполнен. Apollo, Houston, over. Go ahead, Wolf. We see you have the secondary uh, uh, loop and uh, bump on, and uh, we think that uh, you probably don't need it on. Uh, could you comment on that? Yeah, we're burning up in here, Bo. I understand. It's a little hot with all the cameras on. Go ahead. Yeah, we're in some uh, random attitude here due to getting into that uh, gimbal lock situation. And, uh, we're debating whether to maneuver back to uh, dock to attitude or leave things go. What's your recommendation? Let me check on that for you, Dick. Apollo Houston, we suggest you maneuver back to the docking attitude at this time, and that's 197-205-014. Okay, Roger, that was our opinion, too. Okay. Okay. Я думаю, что все нормально. Вот у нас уже третьи сутки мучает какая-то станция. 
танцы. Как только проходим на территории Советского Союза, начинает вещать э, погода с аэродромов. 194 градуса магнитный курс посадки. Забивает абсолютно все. Апала, есть ли вы? Участок стыковки, расстыковки, она начинает вещать. Apollo, uh, we remind you just to tell Soyuz you're going to maneuver, and we'd like the three camera switches on 181 off, and we're going to be doing a VTR dump here, so there will be no down voice for approximately five minutes. Пожалуйста, говорите, когда ты начинаешь наши маневры. Союз Аполлон, как слышите? Аридио 5.5. Да, пожалуйста, Лоша, говорите, когда ты начинаешь наши маневры. Мы видим ваш аэроскоп. Это хорошая фотография. 
Apollo Houston, as far as our TV picture goes, uh, it's been real good. It is, uh, as you maneuver around and the sunlight varies on the two spacecraft, uh, it does get very bright. If you're an average slave and linear, uh, we want to stay there. Good show. Let's stay there. Look at fine. Big Houston, Big Houston, can you close down the F-stop some? Houston, uh, Deke, when you have a chance, uh, we'd like to close down the F-stop. We do have a good picture, but it's uh, too bright. Soyuz, this is Apollo. Initiating retraction. Houston, Apollo. Go ahead, Tom. Uh, and go great to Professor Bushiview and to Mayaki Stakovka. It was a soft docking. Roger, Tell Tom. Professor Bushiview it was a soft docking. Uh, mode of oxygen okay, sensitivity. Open, That's enough. It's open. Uh, 
yeah, hopefully we made a good yeah. step here. Sure did. The com configuration, oh. Tom, just a second. Okay, you got it. How's that? When we stepped ahead, where the heck was that? It's where the TV camera thing. Okay, let me put it to uh, Vox. Roger. Back, 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 back. It's right around uh, prepared Apollo TV. Let's go back one more step. I think it was time. It's around 41 minutes. I don't think we're doing yet. Okay. Let's ahead. Uh, I see. The time is. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was here. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. About 52, I guess. Okay, here we go. Now ask him to do it. Okay, but we got the valve open. We got the valve open. Okay. Okay. Okay, Vance, now in panel 6, uh, load the box. Okay, box. Box yeah. sensitivity is required, approximately 7. Okay. And in panel 98, thumb wheel volume down, eliminate squeal. Okay, you got it. Great. Okay, that did it. So I use my she top for the Vatsa 3. We ball in the chest with a boat team. He top the Vatsa 2. Yeah, we're through with that too, Tom. Right here, 25. Ready to open. Here, let's get the light on. Hold on, I want to see what camera is just a second. Oh, we're ready, let's go. Okay, there. Okay, go to unlock. The camera is running. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Four minutes open in. Okay, Houston, we're not here. Can I get you through them all right? Well, we're not here to move. So, use Cox, what you check? Are you here, Dutch? Yeah, you're on control of a loop three. Thank you. 
Switch checklist. Random. Raj. Stable 
situation here. Gentlemen, um, let me call to express my very great admiration for your hard work, your total dedication in preparing for this first joint flight. All of us here in Washington in the United States send to you our very warmest congratulations for your successful rendezvous and for your docking, and we wish you the very best. 
for a successful completion of the remainder of your mission. Your flight is a momentous event and a very great achievement, not only for the five of you, but also for the thousands of American and Soviet scientists and technicians who have worked together for three years to ensure the success of this very historic and very successful experiment in international cooperation. It's taken us many years to open this door to useful cooperation in space between our two countries. And I'm confident that the day is not far off when space missions made possible by this first joint effort will be more or less commonplace. We all look forward to your safe return, and we follow it with great interest, the success so far. And we look forward to talking with you on Earth again when you do end your flight. Uh, General Stafford, uh, Tom, now that you've had a, an opportunity to test the new docking system, do you think uh, it will be suitable for future international manned space flight? Uh, yes, sir, Mr. President, I sure do. Out of the three docking systems uh, I've used, this was the smoothest one so far. It worked beautifully. About three and a half hours ago, I sat here in the Oval Office and watched the docking procedure. It looked awfully simple from here. I'm sure it wasn't that simple uh, for the five of you. Let me, uh, if I might... Of... Yes, Tom. Let me say a word or two, if I might, to Colonel Leonoff. Uh, the docking was a critical phase of the joint mission. Uh, Colonel, could you describe it, and would you describe the reaction of the crews on meeting in space after such a long preparation? Uh, Mr. President, I am sure that our joint flight is the uh, beginning for future cooperation in space between our countries. Thank you very much for very nice work uh, to us. I will do our best. Uh, Colonel, I thank you and the other four of done very, very well so far, and may I congratulate you and uh, your associates on this great achievement. Now, Dr. Slayton, uh, Deke, um, you've had a very, very long record of distinguished service preparing other astronaut crews for various space missions, and we're extremely pleased to see you on the crew of the first international manned space flight. As the world's oldest space rookie, do you have any advice for young people who hope to fly on future space missions? a chance to hear my question? Uh, no, sir, Mr. President, unfortunately. Can I repeat it and uh, wait so long? Uh, oh, Tom, just repeat it for me, sir. Well, uh, <laughs> yes, I have a lot of advice for uh, young people, but I guess uh, probably one of the most important bits is to, number one, decide what you really want to do. And then secondly, never give up until you've done it. Well, you're a darn good example, Deke, of uh, never giving up and continuing. And I know it is a great feeling of, uh, of uh, success from your point of view to have made this flight your four associates. Yes, sir. Uh, Vance Brand... Uh, I know that you're still in the Apollo. 
Uh, and holding the fort there, it's been my um, observation that the crews on both sides have w w uh, worked very hard to learn either Russian on the one hand or English on the other. Uh, has this training period, which is so important, stood the test in the complicated procedures that all of you must execute in this very delicate mission? Uh, Mr. President, I, I believe it really has. I think, in a way, uh, our project, and in, in particular the training that uh, we've undergone, has been a sort of a model for uh, future uh, similar projects. I think uh, it's been a real pleasant experience to uh, work on learning Russian and uh, to be able to uh, work with the cosmonauts. And I think uh, we'll have some ideas that would probably help people in the future on similar uh, tasks. Thank you very much, uh, Vance. Um, I might like to say a word or two to uh, uh, Valerie uh, Kubasov, the other uh, member of the cosmonaut crew. I might say to him, um, as well as uh, Colonel Leonoff, I remember both of you on that enjoyable Saturday last September when both crews visited the White House and joined me in a picnic over in Virginia. We flew from the uh, White House over to this picnic uh, just across the river. We had some um, uh, crab uh, specialties that uh, I enjoyed, and I think you uh, did. I'm sure you're having a little different menu, uh, somewhat uh, different food on this occasion. What are you having over there uh, out in space? We have a good uh, space uh, food. There are some Russian soup, some Russian meat, some juice, some coffee, and uh, a lot of water. <laughs> no beer, no crap. Well, let me say in conclusion, um, we look forward to your safe return. It's been a tremendous demonstration of cooperation between our scientists, our technicians, and of course, our astronauts and their counterparts, the cosmonauts from the Soviet Union. I congratulate everybody connected with the flight, and particularly the five of you who are setting this outstanding example of what we have to do in the future to make it a better world. And may I say, in signing off, here's to a soft landing. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. It's certainly been an honor to serve the country and work here. We'll see you when you get back. Yes, sir. Permit me, in the name of my government and the American people, present you with five flags for your government and the people of the Soviet Union. May our joint work in space serve for the benefit of all countries and peoples on the earth. Thank you very much, Alexi, thank you.
Well, sure is for Seba. Thank you. Please speak in your headset. Oh, no, no, he's the one. We speak to Vice Hunter Chelsea, Jeff. We heard you well now. Just now, some stuff has been given me to ask little flags from American people and from American government. Thank you very much for this very expensive present. Uh, Soviet group men are gave Soviet flag to Tom Stafford from our people and from our government. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. A very long day, about two and a half years. <laughs> Houston, we don't know if you can get to it, but if you can, would you check that the camera is in average and not peak? Camera is not peak, okay, and work. Peak over there. Uh, try it. But... Okay. This is Apollo Control. We're estimating a uh, press conference at 4.30 Central Daylight Time in the JSC Auditorium with the ASTP Program Manager, Chet Lee, and ASTP Technical Director for the United States, Glenn Lunny. This will be at 4.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time in the JSC Auditorium. Join crew, something seems to be floating up the docking module tunnel. It's probably the certificate tube. Roger, I just didn't want you to be looking for it. Thanks, appreciate that.
Apollo Commander Houston. Go ahead. We're getting a good picture here, and we're wondering what you're eating down there. Uh, if you have a chance, well, maybe you could tell us a little about it. Sure thing. Uh, right now, I've just finished some strawberries reconstituted, and Deke and I are Deke's eating some too. We're getting ready to eat some borscht, as you can see here. Roger, we, tube. See we see the tube. After that, I'm going to have a turkey with uh, cran apple and cranberry sauce. Uh, also, I have a apple juice here, which uh, they made a little joke and had a different label on the other side of it. This is Yablich Me Sok. This is unusual juice. Uh, different color. <laughs> apple juice.